with the Fomorian just being here, I honestly didn't expect the Razorback Armada to return so quickly. And they are going to be attacking Saturn. And there they are. I do kind of wish that there was actually a giant Razorback floating there, but obviously it's the Razorback Armada. Hence the reason you have to do this three times to get the reward out of it, whereas the Fomorian one is based on points. To do these missions, you obviously need to build the Razorback Cypher. The blueprint for this you will get from the Lotus, and it will actually be sent to your inbox every time a Razorback Armada actually attacks. Go back, go back, and the only real issue with these is finding the cryptographic ALU. These things can be a bit of a pain. And I'll admit, it took me a while to find this. I usually go here, mobile defense, corpus, any Arcwing mission to actually find these things. Luckily though, you don't need Arcwing to actually do these missions. Razorbacks are on board a ship. All you have to do is remember you need the Razorback siphon in your gear or you cannot do these missions. After that, you can just go to Saturn or just click on this and it will automatically start it. But just remember to set it to public just in case you have it on invite only, because these things can be overcomplicated. One thing you do need to be made aware of when doing this, bursas and moors are going to be everywhere. So be prepared to deal with them. Bursas, fairly easy to deal with. Moors, fairly easy to deal with. The hyenas, however, they can be a pain. And I'm actually surprised I don't have one in front of me right now. There we go, I knew one of you would be somewhere. Oh, no you're not. Yeah, they also take quite a beating to actually take them down. Ah, I can't find them. Oh, let's just go to the Razorback. And there he is. Taking them down is actually pretty easy to do. As you can see, the Bursa there takes the shield off. Then you can damage it until it stands back up. Because it has a shield on it and you can do zero damage to these things. Absolutely nothing. Though I was actually getting numbers off there. I don't know what that's lethal. Now the way you get the bursas down is you jump up to these ledges. There's one at each side of the room. I actually completely missed there because I jumped way too early. This will take down the doorway here. And the bursa will jump out. You then take down the bursa and take control of it and it will then, yeah, getting quite hammered here. <laughs> it will then go up, attack Razorback and his shield will go down. At that point you can deal damage. You need to release the bursas and take control of them to be able to take out the Razorback. Without them, you just cannot deal damage. It's nothing but zeros. Lots and lots of zeros. One more should do it. Here comes the final Bursa. It should take them down. I need to... Oh, I'm not even there. He's down. Actually really easy to take down once you get a good rhythm going. Finding a team to do all three of these in a row with, however, that may be problematic because the speedrunners will cause you this big issue right at the end where the doors open and everything comes running in at once and it's basically you are going to get owned. Now of course from doing these you get the Gorgon Wraith parts to be able to build the Gorgon Wraith. So there is more than saving the relay as a good reason for doing this. Because let's be honest, everybody should have a Gorgon Wraith in their life at least once. Then of course after the third one when you get back to your ship you will receive a message that will give you your your Arokan Catalyst and your credits for completing this. It's not really a tactical alert, you have to do these obviously to get the Gorgon Wraith parts and if we don't complete these before time is up, the Coronae Relay, well I'm assuming this works like the Fomorian one does where it'll get destroyed, but weirdly they've never made it so that's never really happened yet. Just actually making sure the other relays are still there, considering Barrow is due this week anyway. But we'll leave this off here for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.